We've been involved in planning issues along this stretch of the river for the last 40 years, trying to get um, housing for local people, industry and uh, parks. The whole area of Nine Elms from here, as far as Barrasie Power Station, in the 70s and 80s became very much like an American light industrial park. The planning and development system we, has, we have at the moment seems to always bring up mundane and rather everyday architecture. And I just don't think it's good enough for a city like London, especially prominent sites on the river. Just discussing this building uh, with Stephen, it's designed by an architect called Nicholas Lacey in about 1976, 77, it won an architectural competition and um, uh, it's two clusters which are sort of aligned to maximise river views and it's, it, I think we were just saying it's, it's very skillful, quite successful building and maybe there is a case there for that as a, as a, as a listable building. This is obviously not for Battersea people, and not for local people here. So we are going to have lunch on one of these boats in a minute. And um, what's happening with the houseboats here, they've got till October to, to move, because these rich people don't like the uh, picturesque houseboats ne next to them. Or maybe they say they want to have a yacht park there. I'm just going to talk about uh, what the dock was originally, the history of the dock. Uh, the dock then went out of use and we arrived, so I'll talk a little bit about how we arrived, what we've done since we've been here, and then our struggle to stay here. Most of the buildings from here back towards New Covent Garden would have been like that, would have been low-rise metal sheds for like industry. So, as I said, they, they recreated the they had the opportunity then to make a new Nine Elms and they made a mess of it. I'm just hoping that what's happening now will be a bit better. Anyway, power station now. It had been agreed with the local authorities in English Heritage and, and everyone else who was involved that the chimneys had to be taken down and rebuilt. And so I was asked by Battersea Power Station Action Group, by the World Monuments Fund and by the 20th Century Society to give a, a second opinion on that. I'm a structural engineer and most of my work is on listed buildings. Here we are, Fantasy Park Station, built in the 1860s and designed by a man called Charles Driver. Oh, yeah. well, that, that's, that's, that's the one. Um, thank you, everyone.